In Reform Jewish outreach circles, the Jewish Gentile literary <coughs> community is sometimes referred to as the coming majority. Right around the corner <coughs> in your lifetime, Jewish Gentile households will surpass Jewish Jewish households in North America. Presently, there are more children 12 and under with Jewish Gentile parents than Jewish Jewish parents. The aim of this paper is to give you a sense of the contours of this community. Why it is growing, the impact it is having on mainstream synagogues, and how mainstream synagogues are responding. Because we have about 30 minutes, I will be focusing on areas that I think will be of most interest to you and that have a bearing on the Kiru or outreach theme of our conference. Let's begin with the North American intermarriage wave. Before 1970, the American Jewish intermarriage rate was approximately 13%. Today, it hovers around 50%. One out of every two Jews today intermarries. There are now over one million intermarried couples in the United States. In a Jewish community, of somewhere between 5 and 7 million people, depending on how you define Jewish. Sociological factors. Various reasons are given for the high intermarriage rate in North America, but three factors often go unnoticed or unmentioned because we are not willing to turn the clock back on these areas. These factors are, number one, women participating in all areas of society, which in the 1960s, in the 1970s, in the 1980s, in the 1990s, to our present day, led to more socializing between men and women on a daily basis and the finding of marriage partners through this interaction. <clears throat> Number two, increased acceptance of ethnic difference. And number three, changing views on the importance of love and romance in marriage. <clears throat> Most of us in our society today are unwilling <coughs> to change those trends. And as a result, intermarriage will continue at this 50% level and perhaps grow higher. Synagogue affiliation. Intermarriages now make up a large percentage of the membership of mainstream synagogues. Most reform, reconstructionist, and conservative synagogues have intermarried board members have intermarried board members. Sometimes it is as high as 30 to 40 percent. <clears throat> Among the membership of these synagogues, oftentimes it, it ranges between 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent <clears throat> or more. For example, in nearby San Diego, at Congregation Dor Kadash, which is Reconstructionist, 40 percent of the membership is intermarried, and 25% of the board members are intermarried. <clears throat> At Tiferet Israel Synagogue, which is conservative, 30% of the membership is intermarried, and 5% of the board members are intermarried. That's a conservative synagogue. <clears throat> These days, it is not uncommon for the president of a non-Orthodox synagogue to be intermarried. What of the Gentile spouses of these intermarried Jews? Many of them attend mainstream synagogues, 
and are full members. They are not converts, but Gentile members of these synagogues. Of the one million Gentiles married to Jews in the United States, 95% choose not to convert to Judaism. Most of these Gentiles are from Christian backgrounds and choose not to convert because of their Christian faith or their sense of Christian heritage. In households with a Jewish husband and a Gentile Christian wife, it is often the Christian wife or the wife of a Christian background who is carrying the responsibility of raising Jewish children. She is typically the one who creates a Jewish home and brings the kids to synagogue. 